Hey, Jarcy, it's Katie. And, I mean, you know, it's Saturday, of course. Um, anyways, this week on Jarcy is school week. And I'm so sorry it sounded like a man and look ratchet. It's just been a lot of stress this week. And uh, the past, like, December is just really stressful for me. So. <laughs> but I figured for school week, I could tell you, like, because I have finals, because high school, and I'm sure, you know, yeah. But I figured I could share our final schedule with you, and then kind of what I'm doing after, and the finals that I'm scared for, and then maybe a couple tips, I don't know. Um, anyway, so our schedule for finals. So all next week, it's pretty weird, or almost all next week. So, Monday and Tuesday, we have normal classes. Then Wednesday, our first hour class is... It's a block day, so... Um, our first hour class is an hour and a half long, and we are going to be... It's going to be a study hall. And then we have finals for third hour, fifth hour, and seventh hour. I'm kind of scared for my fifth hour one, because that's um, English... And it has To Kill a Mockingbird questions on it. And I didn't read To Kill a Mockingbird. Quick word to the wise. Always read the books that they tell you in school no matter how boring they are. Um, and then Thursday. It's another block day. And our first, our second hour class, which is the first class of the day, um, is a study hall as well. Kind of just figure out what you got to study for. Um, and then we have finals for 4th hour, 6th hour, and 8th hour. And I'm kind of scared for 6th hour because that's French, but French is pretty easy. And then, um, Friday, we have our tests for 1st hour and 2nd hour. And that kind of, those both kind of scare me, especially having them one right after the other. Because my first hour is pre-AP Geophys, and my second hour is Algebra 2. So it's two advanced classes, finals, one right after the other. So it's kind of scary, but I think I'll manage. Um, so, real quick, a couple tips is, um, if your teacher gives you a study guide, use it. it they, they give you the study guide like a week and a half in advance. So that you have that week and a half to study. So that you're not like trying to cram for your final the night before. Or while you're walking down the hall. Because your brain does not retain information when you do an all-nighter. Your brain has to have sleep and all that kind of stuff. And then if your teacher doesn't give you a study guide. Know when your final is. And go, go through your notebook for that class or notes for that class. And find important things and highlight it and just go over all that. Because that's what I'm going to do in math. Like, find concepts that you don't know very well or something like that. And go over those concepts. And then, what I get to do after finals. Because Friday, after our second hour, we get to leave. I'm so excited. I get to leave. I don't have to go to the rest of the day. We get released at lunch. Um... We, I, one of my friends, her birthday was the 10th, so Wednesday, so she's doing ice skating and a sleepover for her birthday, which makes me super happy because then right after finals, I get to go with her and have all sorts of fun, ice skating and all that kind of stuff, and it's nerve-wracking too because she invited my crush, but that's a story for another time, huh? I'll save that for next week if anything happens. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm going to have to make a video while I'm there with her because she's awesome. But anyways, um, yeah, that's it. So I will see you guys next week. Like this video. Um, subscribe to Jarcy if you haven't already. And put in the comments down below if you're in middle school. Put things that you're scared for, for finals, like when you get to high school, 
or if you're in high school and you're above me because I'm only in ninth grade, give me some tips, please. Um, anyways, so I will see you guys next week. Love you all. Bye.